Hi, today we will be making this. Alright, so before we start, please note that the result is not always the same each time, the first time I made this, it turned out good. Let's see how it ends in this tutorial. Also, let's not cover the software basics this time, and let's focus on the main thing. We'll use Adobe Illustrator for speaker drawing. You can use any image and draw over it. Put the image on a separate layer, lower its opacity. Make a new layer and trace it with stroke turned on. You can draw with pen tool, or either with shape tool. Just try to maintain the shape. Also keep an eye on this layer panel. Alright, let's fast forward this process, I'm sure you'll understand what we're doing. This is how it looks after trace. This was the main idea, you can do more complex if you want. I have already made another one. We will use this, because it looks cool. Let's save it. Rename it as speakers. That's all for the speaker. A night before recording this tutorial, I was finishing this painting. It's finally ready. Not too good, but I hope it will look good on the video. You can use any image you have or either can make your own. This is just optional, totally up to you. Okay, now let's move towards animation, we'll use Adobe After Effects for this. Right click in project panel and import the illustrator file we just saved. Make sure to check these options, now click import. Double click the speaker's composition. If you can't see it, turn on the transparency with this button. I'll go to the composition settings, and rename it. Also I am making it 40 seconds just for this tutorial, you should put your song's original length. You can increase the frame rate value, but we'll go with 25. Also let's resize this, so we don't have a waste of extra space on our screen. Delete the extra layers if you have. Drag and drop fill effect to this layer. Select the layer, and make a duplicate. Rename it as Reactor. Drag and drop the music to your timeline. To make it easy, let's rename it as, Audio. Right click and select Convert Audio to Keyframes. It creates this layer. Open it and delete these two channels. Now make sure you don't have any layer selected. Choose pen tool and make a shape in the area of your speaker. Make sure your stroke is turned off, and fill color is turned on. You can press out button on your keyboard to move these handles.
Rename it as background. Choose a nice color, or let's choose black color. Put it below all layers. Now again make sure nothing is selected, and draw these circles with pen tool. Rename it as inside. While this layer is selected, click the fill text written here. Choose gradient instead of solid color. You can choose colors of your choice. Let's make radial gradient. Now make one more circle, following this small circle. Set the gradient line. We could have done this in Illustrator earlier, but I had a little confusion, so we are doing it here. Now that you understand, do the same with any part you would like to. Put glow effect to the react layer, and tweak the settings until you get the best glow. Put glow effect 2 to 3 times, and tweak the settings until you get the best glow. Turn off these layers. Open Audio Amplitude Layer. Open Opacity of Reactor Layer. Hold Alt button on your keyboard and click this little stopwatch. Attach this swirly thing to the slider. It will create this expression code, which is making it react to the music. Let's multiply it by 8. We'll see if it works otherwise remove it. Now select Audio Amplitude Layer, and click this little graph switch. Go to the Graph Editor. Make sure here Edit Value Graph is selected. Now this is the graph of the audio, it shows at which part of the audio has high amount of frequencies and which has low amount. Let's understand this thing first. See, this is the graph you just saw in the video. The graph containing these numbers, these are called units. And they are different for each song. Yours might be different. Graph lines showing low units with short lines, and high units are shown by taller lines. To put it in a simple manner, short lines mean there is no beat drop in this part. And taller lines mean you can enjoy the amazing beat drop of this song. I'm defining it in a really simple way because I saw most of my viewers are high school students, so there's no need to make it complex. We will use this expression code, and it is really easy to understand. I noticed the music I'm using making graph lines go to 54 units at the beat drop part. And below this value there is no beat drop. X is just a variable, so I put 37 here just randomly because it's not too low or too high. Then 54, which is the beat drop then 0 and then 100. 
0 belongs to 37, while 100 belongs to 54. When units are below 37 the image will not react, amount will be 0%. When units are between 37 and 54 the image will react slightly, amount will be between 0 and 100% but not exact. When units are in 54 or above, the image will react, amount will be 100%. The main purpose of this whole thing is to make it react only to the beat drop, not the whole song. Please note that, your numbers will be different. This was just an example. Let's continue with the video. I will click the expression we made earlier. Go to the very beginning and add x is equals to. Then go to the last. And here type the expression code we just discussed. I will delete this number, this is apparently useless. See, it is only reacting to the beat drop part, not the whole song. All good. Now let's clean up the timeline. Copy the glow effects from the reactor layer, and paste them to those layers. You can tweak them to your liking. Let's copy the expression from reactor layer. Select all text and copy this. Now paste this to the glow effect composite opacity. Do this with the other glow effects as well. Now this next part is optional. Right click and make a new solid. Name it as Spectrum. Drag and drop audio waveform effect to the solid layer. Here select the music audio, and adjust it according to your speaker. Put this below the layers. Now I'll drag and drop a texture background image. Make a new composition. Name it as Render. Make it 1920 by 1080. Put the same length to it as you did with Speaker Comp. Put the texture image to the timeline. You can search for any texture. Putting texture is not necessary, just optional. Right click and make a new solid layer. Name it as background, color is black. Put it below the texture layer. 
turn down the texture's opacity. Select rectangle shape while your texture layer is selected, and draw mask. Open mask feather and increase the value. Now drag and drop the speaker comp to the timeline. Resize it while holding shift button on your keyboard. Place it to the corner. Choose circle shape while no layer is selected on your timeline. Make it solid fill color instead of gradient. Choose a color that matches the theme. Now draw a shape, it will act as floor. Put fast blur effect to this shape. Increase the amount. Put one more time. Put this layer below these two layers. Make its blend mode to hard light. Decrease the opacity. Now watch it carefully. Duplicate the speaker layer. Don't forget to turn off this little switch. Rename it as reflection. And put it below speaker layer. Right click and choose flip vertical. Align it with the speaker, so it looks like a reflection. Drag and drop mesh warp effect to the layer. This is a very crucial part, so you have to do it neat and clean. Although this is not the best way to do it like this, but that's what seems reasonable and easy to me, I'm not a super pro in this, if there is another way around, let me know in the comments. Alright, set the blending mode to screen. Lower the opacity. Select both speaker and reflection layers, right click and pre-compose. Give it a name. Now duplicate this layer. Again, don't forget to turn off this little switch. Right click, and flip it horizontal. Looks cool. This could be best for music YouTube channels. Right click and make a solid. This is going to be audio spectrum. And I'm guessing you all know how to make audio spectrum, we covered it in last tutorial. This is all the same as we did, putting glow and mirror effects to the spectrum. And you should end up like this. While the spectrum layer is selected, choose rectangle shape and draw a mask over it. Put it in the center. Make a duplicate. And make it reflection just like we did with speaker. This is all personal preference, you are free to modify it as you like.
see the music is turned on, and it's not reacting to low units. It'll only react to high units. I want to make it more lively, what I mean is let's make it more luminous, by duplicating these two layers, don't forget to turn off little switch. Set the blend modes to add. And that's all for this tutorial. As for the painting, I'll simply put it as a background, and make it react to the music, in the same way as we did with speaker reactor layer. I hope you liked the video and learned a new cool thing. If this was helpful, press the like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for cool tutorials. I'll be back with another tutorial. Goodbye. <laughs>